are encouraged. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. We pray that you are encouraged. Amen. More than anything, encouraged through the word of God and praise God, knowing without a shadow of doubt that God's grace is sufficient. In other words, God's grace is more, it's enough. It's more than enough. And no matter what your circumstance or your situation may be, thank you, Lord God. God wants you to know, praise God, he wants to be your king. Amen. He wants to be your God. He don't want us looking to other nations. He don't want us to look into other gods or idols. And I thank God that even as he provided and protected Israel, you got to know that God will do the same thing. Thank you for you, for you, praise God, you and your family, you and your household. Know him as a healer, know him as a deliverer. Thank you, Lord God. And I thank God that even as God spoke to the Apostle Paul, he's speaking to us now. We got to remember, thank you, Lord God, that God's grace, amen, is made perfect in our weakness. God's grace is made perfect in weakness. When I'm weak, you got to declare it, praise God, I'm strong. When I'm weak, that's when I'm strong, praise God, because there's no more I, but it's Christ who dwells in us. And I thank God, you know, in the word of God, amen, this morning, a passage of scripture in 1 Corinthians, amen, praise God, uh, 1 in verse 27, the word of God says, but God has chosen the foolish things, amen, of the world to confine the wild, the wise. And it goes on, it says, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confine, uh, confound, amen, the things which are mighty. I thank God because that's the kind of God that we serve. God takes the foolish things to confound the wise and he'll take, amen, he'll choose the weak things, amen, in the world to confound, amen, those things that seem to be mighty. But I bless God in Jesus' name that even as we've shared the word with you all week, amen, and even as we look at the word of God and amen, we saw what God did for Jehoshaphat, praise God. But there's another passage I just want to put in your hearing, amen, praise God, just to let you know. No, this is the kind of God that we serve and it's a story that you're familiar with praise God but just in case you may not know we're going to go there praise God in 2nd Corinthians uh, 2nd Chronicles chapter 20 thank you Lord God the Bible tells us it's a story about a man by the name of Jehoshaphat Jehoshaphat he found himself in trouble with a vast army that was coming up against him to do battle and in his fear he sought God the Bible says, praise God, that Jehoshaphat, he stood in the congregation of Judah in Jerusalem and in the house of the Lord before the new court. And he said to the Lord God, he said, God, the God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And don't you rule over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in your hands, is there not power and might that none is able to withstand? Praise God. And even in the word of God, he said, are you not God? who drive out all the inhabitants of the land before the people of Israel. And you gave it, amen, to thy seed, Abraham, amen, your friend forever. And he goes on and he says, he's talking to God, but he says this, and he said, and they dwell therein and have built thee a sanctuary. And praise God, therein for thy name seen. This is what you said. If evil, if when evil come upon us, Amen. As a sword, a judgment, a pestilence, a famine. Amen. We stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house. And we cry out unto you in our affliction, and thou will hear and help. And he said, and now behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir and praise God, whom thou wouldn't even let Israel invade. Praise God, when they came out of the land of Egypt. But even praise God, he goes on and he said, but they have, uh, you had us to turn away from them, to, uh, from destroying them. Praise God. And he said, but behold, now they reward us. Look how they're rewarding us. They come and praise God to cast us out of, you know, thy possession, which you have given us to inherit. And then he goes on, he said, oh God, will you not judge them? For we have no might against this great, <laughs> this great company that's coming up against us. And neither do we know what to do. And then he says this, but our eyes are upon you. Our eyes are upon you. Thank you, Lord God. And even in the word of God, he says, praise God, that even as all Judah was standing before the Lord and with their little ones, their wives and their children, because he had everybody to come, praise God. And he put everybody on a fast, amen, as they went before the Lord. And the Bible says, amen, that then upon Jehazel, 
Amen. Praise God. The son of Zechariah. Amen. This was a prophet. Praise God. Amen. One of the Levites. Amen. The son of Asaph. Amen. Praise God that the Spirit of the Lord, amen, came upon him in the midst of the congregation and he said, Hearken. Thank you, Lord God. Listen. All Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and thy king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord, amen, unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed by, amen, reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. How many times have we heard that? The battle is not yours, it's God's. Whatever battle you're in right now, whatever it is, it's not your battle, thank you, Lord God. It's God's. It's God's battle. And even in the word of God, the Bible says that tomorrow, you was telling them when you go down, amen, against them, behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz. And you shall find them, praise God, at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jurel. And the Bible tells them, amen, praise God, the word of God says, and you shall not need to fight in this battle, but set yourself, amen, set yourself still. Stand still, praise God, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. This is still what God is saying to us today. God is saying, praise God, the battle, amen, is not yours. You don't even need to fight in the battle, but what you need to do is set yourself, praise God, stand still. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, because guess what? God is with you. The Lord is with you and I thank God because even as the word of God amen even as he was speaking he said fear not amen nor be dismayed have we not heard this already amen fear not don't be dismayed don't be discouraged don't be disheartened amen praise God don't you be downcast amen praise God don't be thank you Lord God but tomorrow even as he was speaking he said when you go out against them amen he was saying the Lord the Lord will be with you You got to know that God is with you. God is with you wherever you go. And even as the word of God says that Jehoshaphat, what he did, he bowed his head. Amen. With his face to the ground and all Judah, the inhabitants, amen, of Jerusalem, they fell before the Lord and they began to worship. Amen. They worship the Lord. And I thank God because even as the Bible said, amen, what happened? Amen. Praise God. The Levites and the Levites and the children, amen, of the Kohites. Amen. And the children of the Korites. Amen. Praise God. They stood to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. They started praising God. They gave God some praise. They blessed the name of the Lord. And when they rose early in the morning, the Bible says when they went forth, amen, to the wilderness of Tekoa. Amen. The Bible said as soon as they went forth, Jehoshaphat, he stood and he said, hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. We're speaking the same word to you right now. Believe in the Lord your God. And he goes on, he says, and so shall you be established. He said, believe, amen, his prophets, and so shall you prosper. Thank you, Lord God. And even as he was speaking, praise God, and he said, amen, what he did, he consulted with the people and he appointed singers unto the Lord, singers that should go and praise the beauty of holiness, and they went out before the army. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Amen. Praise God. I know that some of you have been in the military. Amen. Praise God. And some of you, you already know, praise God, or have loved ones that have served in the military. Praise God. But know this, that whenever they go into battle, have you ever heard of a a praise team going out before in the army? But I thank God this is what Jehoshaphat did. He put the praise team in front of the army. Thank you, Lord God, and what this is telling us. Amen. Praise God that no matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening in your life, praise God, if you can get some praise on the inside, if you can just bless the name of the Lord, even as we already stated, God takes the foolish things to confound the wise. And he takes, thank you, Lord God, those things, praise God, that are strength, amen, praise God, to bring down, amen, the weak things to bring down that which is, is exalted. And I thank God that even here as God, amen, praise God, Jehoshaphat was being led, I believe, by God. That even through the praise, that even as he began to worship, thank you, Lord God, the singers, they began to give praises unto God. And I thank God that as they began to praise God, this is what they said. Amen. Praise the Lord for his mercy. Thank you, Lord God. Endure forever. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. 
Amen. I pray that you hear it. I pray that you understand. Thank you, Lord God. Praise the Lord. His mercy, it endures forever. Thank you, Lord God. And the Bible says that even as they begin to sing, amen, and praise the Lord, amen, the Lord set an ambush. The Lord set an ambush. My God, what would happen if you just begin to praise God? What would happen if you just begin to give God glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus? That no matter what you're going through, thank you, Lord God. We understand, listen, but God, but God, nobody but God, God can do it. Amen. When you begin to praise Him, when you begin to glorify Him, and still knowing, thank you, Lord God, that God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is sufficient. Thank you, Lord God. When I'm weak, that's when I'm strong. When I'm weak, that's when I'm strong because it's no more I, but it's God. It's Christ who's living inside me. Thank you, Lord God. And this is what you have to tell yourself. Thank you, Lord God. It's no more me. It's Him. It's Christ. It's Christ. When I'm weak, that's when I'm strong. Thank you, Lord God, but God. And I thank God in Jesus' name because still even here, what happened? Amen. Even with this ambush where God allowed the ambush, they turned on one another. Amen. Praise God. While they were praising God and they began to sing the praises. And even as we stated, amen, the ambush, amen, they began to ambush one another. The children of Ammon, Moab, praise God, and Mount Seir, amen, when they came up, praise God, against Judah, amen, they were smitten, praise God, for the children of Ammon. Amen. Moab, they stood, amen, against the inhabitants, praise God, and utterly they slayed, amen, and destroyed themselves, praise God. Amen. It was an ambush against the ambush. And I thank God because even everyone, the Bible said, everyone helped to destroy one another. And I thank God because still even here you heard the word of God that you don't even need to fight in the battle. Amen. This is not your battle, y'all. Whatever battle it is, it's not your battle. It's the Lord's battle. It's his battle. Thank you, Father. Amen. And I bless God that even in the word of God, the Bible said, Jehoshaphat and all the people, praise God. Let me tell you. Amen. Because of this and what happened. Amen. Praise God. When they looked the multitude, looked around. Amen. Praise God. Looked unto the multitudes and behold, they all were dead. There were dead bodies that had fallen all to the earth and none had escaped. And when Jehoshaphat, praise God, when Jehoshaphat and his people, they came and they took away the spoil from them and they found among them, amen, abundance. Amen. Both riches, praise God. They found so much precious jewels and amen. They stripped off, amen, for themselves more than they could even carry away. And the Bible says, praise God, it took, praise God, three days, three days of gathering the spoil because it was so much. Amen. I still want you to know God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is sufficient no matter what it is. Praise God. God's grace is sufficient. But God, and I thank God in Jesus' name, even with Jehoshaphat, when he made the statement, he said, Lord, amen, praise God, that, you know, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. Amen. Here is this vast army, praise God, that came up against them to do battle. But what he said was this. He said, but our eyes, God, they're upon you. Our eyes are on you, God, and we're looking to you. We're looking to you. Thank you, Lord God. And when we look to him, let me tell you, you'll never be disappointed. Never be disappointed nor brought to shame. I give praise to God still once again for each and every one of you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We thank God for what he's done and what he's doing. Praise God. But you know what? Even what God is going to do, the past, present, and future. Thank you, Lord God. And we give him praise. We give him glory. We're not waiting for battles to be over in our lives. We shout now. We praise him now. We glorify him now in Jesus' name. And still knowing, again, God chooses the foolish things of the world to confine. Amen. The wise. And he chooses the weak things. Amen. Of the world to confound things that are mighty. Thank you, Lord God. God got this, but God this morning, but God in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you and we praise you once again for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, for being God. We thank you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, knowing, Lord God, that you are able. You are able, Lord God, to do exceeding abundantly above, still above what we ask or even think. We thank you, Lord God, this day in the mighty name of Jesus for life. 
We are thanking you, Lord God, again, the strength that you have given us. We praise you, Father. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord God, it's your word, Lord God, that we have received. And because we have received your word, Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that you're moving in the midst of us. You're moving in our homes. You're moving, Lord God, on that job. You're moving, Father, in that neighborhood. We thank you even now, Lord God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Thank you for the full armor, Lord God, that you've told us to put on the full armor of God that we might be able to stand and Father I thank you for the armor we thank you Lord God in Jesus name again the helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness we thank you Lord God as we take up the shield of faith Lord God to quench the fiery dots of the enemy Father we bless you and honor you thank you for the battle truth we thank you Lord God because your word is truth thy word is truth and Father it's your word Lord God thank you Father for faith that comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. We thank you in Jesus' name. Truth, Lord God, your truth. And we bless you and honor you, Lord God. Still our feet shy with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We thank you, Lord God. You said in your word, if you be lifted up, you draw men. That, Father, wherever we go, Lord God, that we're lifting you up. We're lifting you up, Lord God. For many of us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we are walking epistles. We thank you, Lord God, that many are looking unto us, Lord God. Some may never pick up a Bible, but, Father, when they see us, Lord God, and they see the life that we're living, Lord God, we pray that their lives are being changed because we're lifting you up. We glorify you, Father. In the name of Jesus, have your way in us. And God, we praise and magnify you, Lord God. Thank you for the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. We praise you, Lord God. You've given us a weapon in the name of Jesus to combat against the works of the enemy. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. We praise you, Lord God, your Word, Father. Let it be in our mouth, Lord God. And when we open our mouth, we're speaking, Lord God, your Word. In the name of Jesus. Jesus against the works of the enemy. We thank you, Lord God, that we're pulling down, yes, strongholds. We're pulling down, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, every evil altar. Lord God, that even when we pray, we're declaring your word, Lord God, and we release, Father, your sword. We release, Lord God, the peace of God. We release in the name of Jesus, Father, these things that we stand in need of. We thank you, Lord God, even as we declare your word this morning. We praise you, Father, for healing. We praise you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your peace. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We yet decree, declare, nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking in our lives. You are Jehovah. Shalom, the God of peace. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. That peace that surpasses all understanding. God in our hearts and minds, we praise you, Lord God. We glorify you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We give you praise, Father. You said pray. Pray without ceasing. We thank you, Lord God, that we continue, Lord God, to pray. Lord God, prayers and supplications, Father, that are being lifted up in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not going to stand by and watch, but we're going to pray in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we cry out to you, we thank you that you hear the cries of your sons. You hear the cries of your daughters in the name of Jesus. Jesus in you ask. We thank you for being the God that you are, a compassionate God. We thank you for being a faithful God. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name today. Father, we bless you. We honor you. We thank you, Lord God, for salvation. We thank you in Jesus' name, deliver us. We thank you, Lord God, in your mighty name, everything, Lord God, that you're moving right now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. And sometimes, Father, even when our eyes don't see it, but by faith, Lord God, we receive. By faith in Jesus' name. By faith, we believe, Lord God, and trust in your word. We praise you and glorify you this day. Father, I thank you right now, Lord God, that we will remain joyful in hope in the name of Jesus, joyful in hope. We thank you, Lord God, that 
we will be patient even in affliction. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Many are the afflictions, Lord God, of the righteous. But Father, we thank you. You deliver us out of them all. We thank you in Jesus' name. We praise you, Lord God. We know, Father, that you see us. We know, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you're still working the work. And God, we bless you. We're going to remain faithful, Father, even in prayer. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, because we realize nothing happens until we pray. Nothing happens in the mighty name of Jesus until we call on you. And we thank you, Lord God, that we're calling on your name. We're calling on you in this hour. We pray, Lord God, in your name. Even as we look to you, Father, we speak your word. Decree and declare it right now. Every stronghold coming down. In the name of Jesus, everything that's trying to exalt itself, Lord God, against the knowledge of you, we cast it down. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory, Lord God. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus today, we thank you, Father. We give all the glory, Lord God, to you, knowing that all things, Father, is possible with you because we believe. We believe, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You said we could speak to mountains. In the name of Jesus, be cast into the sea. Thank you, Lord God, in my doubt in our hearts, Father. In your mighty name, and Father, we believe your word. We believe your word is still known and you're watching over your very word to perform it. You will do your word. And Father, we praise you. We glorify you. We ask God in the name of Jesus, traveling mercies today. We pray, Lord God, every mode of transportation, wherever we go, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, highways and byways, airways. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the ministry and angels that's going before us. We thank you, Lord Lord God, every crooked place that's being made straight, we bless you and honor you right now. We thank you, Lord God, for being a comforter. In the name of Jesus, comfort hearts right now. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God. We pray, Father, in your name, that even as you give beauty, Lord God, for ashes, we thank you, Lord God, you give joy, oh God, you give joy, Lord God, for mourning. Thank you, Lord God, the oil. In the name of Jesus, we bless you and honor you, Lord God. You anoint us, oh God. Move now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We trade our sorrows. We're traded in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as we give it over to you, we thank you, Lord God. We're receiving every benefit that you have for your sons, your daughters today. We bless you, Lord God, and thank you for it. We magnify your name. We magnify your name, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus today, all that you have already done, Lord God, we still say thank you. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the promise. Thank you, Lord God, what you've already spoken. Thank you in Jesus' name. We thank you for the process. We thank you for the strength, Lord God, through the process. We thank you, Lord God, for the manifestation. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God, because your word always manifests. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we praise you, our Savior, our God. In the mighty name of Jesus, your awesome Father. Awesome Father. In the name of Jesus, Abba. Thank you, Lord God. We praise you, the bread of life. We praise you, Lord God, this day, our counselor. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord God, the Spirit of God that leading us, guiding us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you for being our shepherd. Thank you, Lord God. God, in the name of Jesus, leading us, Father, in your mighty name, your voice being magnified today, magnified in our ear, that we would hear, Lord God, hear you, hear you, Lord God, make it past the noise, make it past, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the confusion, but Father, I thank you that even as we release, Father, your peace, thank you once again in Jesus' name. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God. Undisturbed, Lord God, that we can hear in the name of Jesus, but not only hear, but walk in obedience to what you say. Thank you, Lord God. Obedience. Thank you, Father. Obedient, Lord God, to your voice and your command. We thank you in Jesus' name, Father, that there will be praise, 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 Lord God, on our lips. Praise is, Lord God, with our hands lifted, our mouth, Lord God, glorifying you this day in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord God. We bless you and honor you for everything that you have done, everything that you are yet doing, Lord God, in our lives. And we thank you, Lord God, even though what is about to take place. We give the praise and glory to you, Lord God. We thank you even now, once again, Father, and even this word today. Thank you, Lord God, of Jehoshaphat. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, when we find ourselves, Lord God, when we don't know what to do. Let our eyes, Lord God, be fixed upon you. Let it be fixed, Lord God, to look to the hills where our help is coming from. We thank you, Lord God, when our hearts are overwhelmed. We look to the rock in the name of Jesus that's higher than what we are. We thank you in Jesus' name. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God, for this strength today. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. And Father, we still declaring favor. Favor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, favor over your sons, your daughters. In the name of Jesus, you have favored us, Lord God. We praise you and glorify you, the image of God that we are created. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we're walking. Thank you, Lord God, in favor. Walking in favor. Thank you, Lord God. We're not, thank you, Lord God, again. We're not fighting. We're not fighting. Thank you, Lord God. Amen for victory. Because God has already given us the victory. He's given us everything that we will ever need. All things pertaining to life, godliness, it's been given unto us. And Father, we thank you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you face today or wherever you are, whatever's happening in your life, remember, but God. But God in Jesus' name. But God is able. Remember, God is able. In the name of Jesus, God will come in whatever circumstance you find difficult in your life. This is where God moves. Thank you, Lord God. He's a very present help in times of trouble. So, Father, we thank you today. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, strengthen, Lord God, this day. Strengthen, Lord God, your sons, your daughters, in the name of Jesus that we can declare out of our mouth, Lord God, when I'm weak, that I'm strong. I'm strong, Lord God, because it's you, Father, that's working in us. It's you that's moving through us. And Father, we give this praise to you, this glory in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. I thank God again for each and every one of you. We thank God in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus for all that he has done. All that he has done and that what he is doing. Remember, praise God, that Jehoshaphat, he put a, a praise team, amen, worshipers in front of the army. Amen, praise God, whatever battle it is. If you would just get a praise, a but God, thank you, Lord God, and glorify him. Amen. With your praise, your praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, give him glory, give him honor. Tell him thank him. Amen. He deserved the praise. He deserved all the glory. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Father, by your authority, once again, of the name of Jesus Christ, we still render every demonic spirit attack. Lord God, against us, evil altars, Lord God, witchcraft spirits, Jezebel spirit, in the name of Jesus, spirits of oppression, depression, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you right now, it's still helpless, it's still powerless, it's still inoperative, Lord God, ineffective, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you because of your word. In the name of Jesus, it gives us our help, our families, and our finances, Lord God. But we declare in what you've already spoken. And knowing, Lord God, that you're watching over your word, Father, to perform it. And knowing that your word will not return unto you void. We thank you, Lord God, for the boomerang effect. We thank you in Jesus' name. Your word is coming back fulfilled. Father, we bless you. We honor you in Jesus' name today. No weapon formed in the name of Jesus will be able to prosper. We give you glory. We give you honor. It's in Jesus' mighty name. Go in the peace of God. Go in the love of God. But you go knowing but God. But God in the name of Jesus. And but God occurs in times of difficulty. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, woman of God. But God. Amen. Praise God. No matter what, trust God. God's got this. The battle's not yours, but this is the Lord. Amen. Listen, we bless God for every last one we're getting on this morning. Praise God. I pray that you are inspired and encouraged through the word and the prayer coming from the woman of God. Listen, as you go throughout today, always say this. Amen. Encourage yourself. Amen. Speak life and not death. Speak victory 
and not defeat. And know that you are way more than conquerors. You're an overcomers. Amen. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Live on purpose. Live with the purpose. Live the purpose-driven life. We love you to life. God bless you. And go in peace.